Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of women. That's according to the American Heart Association. Yeah, that's right. The organization, in fact, says heart disease causes one in three deaths, and that is every single year. Joining us live now in the studio from the American Heart Association, we're happy to have Maria Carr. She is the director of Go Red for Women. Thank you so much for being with us here this morning. You got up bright and early. Let's talk a little bit about um, some of the health risks and what you want people to know primarily. Yeah, so I mean the main difference between men and women when it comes to cardiovascular disease and why the American Heart Association made it a mission in 2004 to bring more awareness for women is that our heart disease and heart attack symptoms are so different. For men, it's very much associated with a pain in their chest, um, you know, some little joint pain. For women, they don't always get the chest pain, so they automatically don't think, oh, I'm not having a heart attack. They might have lower abdominal pain. Um, there's so many other differences as well. They might get nauseous and might vomit as well. Um, so the big difference, we just want to bring awareness to everyone to know their signs, know the risk, and know what to do in case they're feeling off. Yeah, awareness is so key because usually heart attacks are associated with men mm -hmm. and they just shouldn't be. So you're getting the word out there. Now we always hear the term heart health. Can you tell us what good heart health looks like and what that journey is like? Yeah, so um, previously we used to have our Life's Essential 7. Um, this year actually we upped it to Life's Essential 8. We added in sleep as a part of Ooh. having good health, heart health. Um, obviously knowing your signs, knowing if you have cardiovascular disease in your family, that's the number one indicator. Um, knowing your cholesterol, your blood pressure, making sure you're eating healthy, getting enough physical activity, making sure that you're even keeping your mental wellness healthy because that plays into all of it as well. And just making sure if something feels off, go to your doctor, find out. If they don't have an answer, go to another one. You know your body, just make sure you pay attention and stay aware of what's going on. Yeah, it's so interesting that sleep is such a huge factor, mm -hmm. right? And I know you're going to share about some events for Go Red for Women coming up mm -hmm. this month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we actually have our um, annual, 19th annual Go Red for Women experience this Friday at the Suburban Collection Showplace. Um, earlier in Heart Month, which was February, we had our Wear Red Day on February 3rd. Um, and so this year we are bringing everyone together. It's kind of like a cumulative celebration of all the hard work that our volunteers have done um, to bring awareness, raise funds for research and tools and resources for the community. Um, so it's just a great time to have everyone come together, hear from various women who have been through some sort of cardiovascular disease or stroke, hearing what they went through, their steps, how they're doing now, what to look for. Because it's all about bringing awareness and taking action. And, and how do people get involved with this? What is the best way for them to go about that? Yeah, so if they just simply go to heart.org slash Detroit Go Red, um, on there it has various different um, sub um, web pages they can go. It has my contact details as well. Um, you can email me, call or text me, and we can get you in the best place that works best for you. All right, All right. let's continue to get the awareness out there. Thank you so much, Maria. Great to have you. Great information. Good luck this week. Thank you.